the first thing that comes to mind when I see Kyle Dubas's statement today is that he thought what Brendan Shanahan said about the timeline and the negotiation and his thoughts and feeling on the whole matter of letting go Kyle Dubas should have remained private. And when you look at the way this team has operated for a long time now, it really has been a cone of silence. We don't get a lot of details as far as the logistics and intricacies of this organization. So it was really out of character to hear Brendan Shanahan go into that much detail. And if you're a member of the media or you're a fan, there's a certain point of you, you can understand it and you almost appreciate the transparency and the honesty. But if you're a player, if you're... Uh, a part of the management team, if you're a staff member, you don't want that out there. You don't want that laundry being aired out. Those kinds of things need to remain private because now what about the next person that comes into that organization? What are they thinking? If things go south, is my laundry going to get aired out if, if things don't go well? So it, it, it really, it's one of those things that it's, you have to walk the line a little bit, but Kyle Dubas absolutely did not want things to be made public. With that being said, his comments at his post-year press conference opened the door to that because he was very honest and he was candid. So you can make an argument that Dubis opened the door for what Shanahan did, but make no mistake about it. Shanahan's comments were on purpose and with a purpose to make sure that everyone knew that he didn't want Kyle Dubis going out there and talking and Kyle Dubis's demands were large.